Alright, so currently we're running a so we so we're going to be doing a conversion on the Mark II GTI Turbo, and we're going to be converting it from distributor single coil to what we have here, wasted spark, and uh, this allows it to have a little more or twice the amount of charge time per coil as it usually has with a single coil. And since my car is turbo, the coils do have to work a little bit harder. <clears throat> and the engine does have to rev a little bit higher. You usually wouldn't rev a standard Golf 2, 2 liter NA motor that high as it doesn't really make much torque up top. But in this case, I am actually revving it up higher because there is more boost now. And it can actually make more torque in the higher RPM ranges. So this does mean that your coil has to work harder and accompanying the higher rpms is also higher boost so as boost increases your air density in the combustion cylinder increases so as the air density increases becomes difficult for the spark to actually jump the spark plug cap so upgrading your coil is a good idea on a turbo car right now these are the two coils that i got so i initially got this coil it's a opal three pin coil it's a, from an Opel Corsa Z16SE is the engine code which just came on. So it's a dumb coil and it needs an ignition module to be able to be driven by the ECU. But this is the coil I got second and it's a VW uh, four cylinder called 4 APK coil and it ha is a smart coil as you can tell. They look quite a bit different and I'll show you the difference. So this is actually a bolt in ignition. Ignition module also known as a coil driver. And as you can see here, it's a four pin while this is a three pin. So anything that has three pins is a dumb coil when it comes to wasted spark for four, for four cylinder engines. On, and as you can see, when I remove the ignition module, which, it, which actually comes with this coil, this coil also becomes a dumb coil since this alone is the Volkswagen ignition module. You could also get a Bosch 211 4 channel ignition module which would also drive dumb coils according to the guys on the Speedino Facebook group. Yeah so basically these two are exactly the same and without this you can't drive either one of these two via the ECU. This, let me show you what brand these are. This is the box that the Opal coil came in. Bobina coil, quality parts, ignition coil, Opal Corsa 3 pin. And this is the Volkswagen coil. It's a Euroman. I have read about this brand, and some guy on the internet on a forum said it only lasted him two months. So, yeah, we'll have to see about that. And it just says ignition coil four cylinder and this number over here actually matches the number on the coil on the side so i just removed this and i noticed that this edge i noticed that this edge seems kind of loose and then i lifted it and saw that it's actually not glued on that well so this is might be the problem why these could possibly fail in the future so this glue seems to have not set properly, feels very rubbery, so it's probably like some uh, silicone, but they only put it in the corners, so you should probably seal up this part if you see that your Volkswagen um, ignition module is open. I don't see anything wrong with this module by design, it has quite thick runners to carry the 12 volts the in the lower connections down here are like solid wires so the reason why i actually bought this for my volkswagen instead of buying a volkswagen coil was because of this layout i like the inline plug layout as it allows me to run shorter spark plug wires so right now i'm just going to do a comparison of the ohm readings the resistances between these two and uh, you can use that for reference if you're testing your coil. So let's uh, go into the test and uh, see the resistance differences. 
So we'll start off with the opal coil. I'm measuring between the pin C pin. There's a pins have uh, letters on them. C, B and A. So I'm measuring between C and B and between B and A. So this is from C to B, 0 0.6 ohms. And if this, and let's measure the, the Volkswagen dump coil without its ignition module attached. This is the dump part of the smart coil. So 0. That proves that these are both dump coils without the ignition module. So if I put the module back on, which I just want to stress this so you don't get confused. This actually comes with the module on, clipped on like that. So now I'm going to measure. These also have numbering on the pins. One, two, three, four. I'm going to measure from from four to three and from four to one. So it should give me a really high reading, indicating it's a smart coil. 0 0.395 kilo ohms, which is 395 ohms. That's between pin 4 and pin 3. I'm measuring between pin 1 and pin 4. Should be pretty similar. 400, 0 0.417 kilo ohms, which is 470 ohms. So much higher than the coil by itself so the ohm reading is much higher when there is an ignition module attached to the coil itself if you have a really low ohm reading you need a driver and if you have a really high reading as we saw with this it doesn't need an additional driver that's basically it so i hope this is helpful i'll link the forums and the places i got the pinouts from just for you just for you to make sure so you don't blame me Good luck with your endeavors and like and subscribe. Peace.